I'm in Riga today for a look at the fine arts, or painting to be precise. This is Alexei Znaumov, the director of the Latvian Academy of Art. He's going to take us on a guided tour of the Academy and show us what Latvia's young artists are working on. This from uh, 50s, just like in style of 50s, but we just keep it. Yeah. And some, as I say, some student work. So we are going for the MA level painting uh, uh, class. Yeah, this is a student who is make his own composition. Sveiki. Sveiki. On the end. Now I'm going to talk to Laura Datsmana. We have this basic, the classical, and then we move and in composition we try different like things. To experiment a lot? Yeah, a lot of experiments. Laura even went to art school in Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiration. It's the greatest uh, like, possibility what you can have. Like we are now in European Union, we are able to to go wherever we want. We have 600 students. We send around 40 students to European school. Students spend three months or 12 months in uh, another country for exchange program. I think this is very, very important uh, for the students in this age come to see another culture. This is Patricia Brechte, another young artist studying at the Academy. She's already had a lot of exhibitions. Have you sold many paintings? Yeah, of course, I, I sell my paintings out of Latvia and uh, I live for this. Yeah, I can uh, paint and I can do what I want and I can live for this. And also I, I sell pictures in Berlin, in Spain and also okay. in uh, Stockholm. I've come to Jurmala, a coastal spa resort, and home to Maya Tabaka, one of Latvia's most famous contemporary painters. This is the little studio where I work. This is my latest painting. I always paint prototypes, people from the real world, whom I give a certain role. Water is a recurring theme in her paintings. There are always elements of fantasy in my pictures. I always paint water in a surreal way. Maya Tabaka was born in Jagova near Riga. She's been painting since 1961, and she's now 68 years old. This painting was even exhibited in Berlin. 
I had a scholarship to study in Berlin in 1977. The exhibition was held at the Britannian Art Studios. Your paintings have been exhibited all over the world, but where are they now? It makes me sad to think about the art trade in the 80s. There was no copyright protection and nothing was put down in writing. My paintings were sold cheaply and all I know is that a few are supposedly in private ownership in America. It was another wonderful day and fantastic to look at the world of painting. I'm looking forward to telling another story next time.